song, and then I, I'm going to add, call for our assistant um, treasurer, this is J.R. Thrill, who rarely gets the opportunity to speak to come forth. So let's have, and let's, because I'm trying to get everybody in, so, okay, go ahead. Verse 1. Among the priests of Jagannath, 
was one who loved the Jewish boy. Lamas Promise was the name by which the priest was known. One day, as Jesus and Lamas walked alone in Plaza Jagrenath, Lamas said, My Jewish master, what is truth? And Jesus said, Truth is the only thing that changes now. In all the world, there are two things. One is truth, the other is falsehood. And falsehood, that which seems to be. Now truth is art and has no cause, and yet it is the cause of everything. Falsehood is not, and yet it is the manifest of right. Whatever has been made will be unmade. That which begins must end. All things that can be seen by human eyes are manifest of art, are not, and so must pass away. The things we see are but reflexes, just appearing, while the ethers vibrate so and so. And when conditions change, they disappear. The holy breath is truth, is that which was, and is, and evermore shall be. It cannot change, nor pass away. And we know we are all searching for the truth. And the prophet has laid down the instruction on how to find truth. We know that truth doesn't change. So what you're searching, if it keeps changing, you know you haven't found the truth yet. So we keep searching. You know, and as long as we are here in the flesh, we're going to be searching for the truth. Verse 10, 11. Lamont said, you answer well. Now what is man? And Jesus said, man is the truth and falsehood strangely mixed. Man is the breath made flesh. So truth and falsehood are conjoined in him. And then they strive, and not goes down, and man is truth of I. And Lamas asked, what do you say of power? And Jesus said, it is manifest, as a result of force. It is but not, it is illusion, nothing more. Force changes not, but power changes as the ether's change. Force is the will of Allah, and is omnipotent, and power is that will and manifest directed by the breath. There is a power in the winds, a power in the waves, a power in the lightning strip, a power in the human arm, a power in the eye. The ethers cause these powers to be, and thought of below him, of angel, man, or other thinking things, directs the force. When it has done its work, the power is no more. So we know power is an illusion. So when we hear in today's environment of those who are trying to get power, we can look at them and see what the prophet has to say about power and realize where they're coming from and know that it's not, you know, there's nothing to that. Verse 19. Again, Lamont asks, of understanding what have you to do? to say. And Jesus said, it is the rock on which man builds himself. It is the gnosis of the art and of the naught, of falsehood and of truth. It is knowledge of the lower self, the sensing of the powers of man himself. Again, Lamas asks, O oh, wisdom, what have you to say? And Jesus said, it is the consciousness that man is art, that Allah and man are one, that naught is not, that power is but an illusion, that heaven and earth and hell are not above, around, below, but in, which in the light of art becomes not, and Allah is all. And that's what life is all. So we're trying to reach that point where we become one with Allah. And uh, so we have a lot of work to do, but we can get there. Lamont asked, pray, what is faith? And Jesus said, faith is the surety, surety of the omnipotence of Allah and man, and certainty that man will reach the Islamic light. Salvation is the latter reaching from the heart of man, of men, to the heart of Allah. It has three steps. Belief is first, and this is what man thinks perhaps is true. And faith is next, and this is what Man knows his truth. Fruition is the last, and this is man himself the truth. Belief is lost in faith, and in fruition, faith is lost. And man is saved 
when he has reached the earth of life, when he and Allah are one. That's our goal. That's what we're rooting for. And I also would like to extend uh, his humble greetings from our grand chief, or my grand chief, Sister uh, H. Grace Zealand. She wish she would be here, but she's here in spirit. But then I'll say peace. Peace.